This is one of the last black rhinos left in Africa. They may be too big to fall prey to lions, but they are no match for man. Before intensive poaching by humans, black rhinos were the most numerous and widespread of the five species of rhino in the world. The decrease in their numbers from 65,000 in the wild in 1970 to just over 5,000 now represents one of the fastest declines of any large mammal in recorded history. This bull, like all male rhinos, is a solitary browser, eating more than 200 species of trees and bushes. His prehensile hooked lip pulls foliage into his mouth. The reason he is immune to being eaten is because he weighs more than 2,500 pounds. By exceeding one ton in weight, he's above the predation threshold, making him too big for lions to kill. This white rhino calf is less than a year old, and his keratin horn is not much more than a bump. He's been eating grass since he was eight weeks old, but he'll continue to suckle from his mother for several months. Rhinos have poor eyesight, and he keeps close to mum, as he's still vulnerable to lions and hyenas. With mother's protection, he will likely grow into a mature bull, weighing around 5,000 pounds. But for now, he's quite content at his mother's side and will stay with her for two to three years or until she has another calf. The bond between mother and calf is extremely strong in white rhinos, more so than with black rhinos. White and black rhino are both gray, but they exhibit certain differences, like size. The white rhino is almost a ton heavier. The name white derives from a mistranslation of the Afrikaans word veit, meaning wide, in reference to its broad square muzzle. This defining characteristic allows the white rhino to feed on its choice of the savannah's dense, short grasses. But the grasses often contain ticks that get into hard-to-reach places. Luckily, there are oxpeckers willing to offer their cleaning services. The birds feed on the ticks, and both parties benefit from the arrangement. White rhinos are the world's only purely grazing rhino species. And weighing in at two tons, they are possibly the largest pure grazers that ever lived. White rhinos are considered territorial and semi-social as they do not form large herds. 
Females, however, are rarely found alone and will congregate in groups of up to six. Like this group of two related cows and a sub-adult calf. Rhino cows often move through many male territories and they've attracted the attention of the bull who controls this area. Adult bulls are largely solitary, living in ranges of a few square miles. And this bull is eager to get to know his visitors. But the cows are not interested and politely remove themselves. While rhino bulls are somewhat retreating in their courtship, another one of the big five is more overt in his intentions. Mature elephant bulls weigh around five tons, making them the world's biggest land animal. They are two and a half times larger than the white rhino. This bull may be particularly aggressive. His weeping temporal glands and frequent urination are a sure sign that he is in a condition known as must. From the age of 25 years old, must occurs sporadically in bulls, increasing their testosterone to six times its normal levels. Bulls in must dominate others in fights and are left well alone by most. Free to focus on finding cows to mate with. Although females are smaller, they control the movement of herds, which are matriarchal made up of related females and young males, all of whom share close social ties. 